Hey everyone, it's Alpha Queen, and welcome back to Dragon Quest IX. Last time we completed Marco's quest, and we now have Gigagash, which I will show off at some point. Some point, but for now, um, I mean, I get, I guess, I guess I'll just go to the the bed and sleep, just to get that little bit of MP back because I have like. I mean, if there's a tiny bit of health missing and I have the ability to get that back, I might as well. I might as well, since I'm here. So, um, what do I need to do today? I need to go to up over, fix my armor, I'll equip some magic waters and stuff onto my party members, and then I will head off to the realms of Almighty. We'll see how much I get done today, depending on how long armor and stuff takes, but I, I doubt it will take that long. But I said the same about Sword Guy's quest, and it took me half an hour, so... We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but, you know. Uh, I guess while I'm here, I'll just do the whole Magic Water thing, because I was going to do that last time, but then the video got way too long, and I was like, you know what, I'll just do it next time. So, I have, I think, a Sage's Elixir somewhere, somewhere in these nine pages of garbage. Anyway, transfer to Darren, I guess. Uh, I'll sort out for the angel bill. I have medicinal herbs on Darren. What am I doing? Medicinal herbs. That 30 HP. Is it roughly 30 HP or 30 HP? Okay, it's around um, whatever HP it is. For a strong medicine, it's 40, but that's still that's still nothing now. That's of no use to me anymore. Um, um, transfer. You see, these things aren't even worth selling either because a medicinal herb will give me like negative two gold if I sell it. So transfer. I can get rid of these strong medicines as well. The thing is, it's not like um. Do I have any? It's not like. I'll be... I don't even know what I was going to say. I've, I've completely forgotten my sentence. I'm so sorry. I've recorded... This is my third video of the day, recording. But I have checked the order and everything to make sure everything's working because I'm paranoid as all hell now that I'm going to end up having to redo the entire thing all over again. But so far, it's all good. It's all good. I've been checking. Everything is fine. But let's see. Uh, I need to go to Stormway first to pick up my gold. That's something that I almost forgot because... Armor and stuff is over 20k in up over, or at least the best armor that money can buy. So, there's that. And I don't know how much gold I have on me, but it's not, it's not enough. Uh, okay. Withdrawal. Okay, I have almost 100k. But I feel like, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hit top the extra, a hundred. And if I really want to, I can deposit it, but I, th I should be okay. So we'll zoom to up over. Like if I lose 10 or 20,000 gold, I really don't care. And maybe I should, but I don't really, so that's fine. But, let's see, the armor shop is all the way over the other side. I think it's, yeah, okay, it's up. So I turn it this way and to the left. And it's just down here. Oop, if I can get in the door, which apparently I can't. Anyway, this lovely lady sells armor, so. Um, I have a lot of stuff that is past its prime, as you can probably tell. But I'm gonna be... Um, okay, so this power shield... I'll get two. One for Giga, and one for Darren. Yes. And yeah, a 4% block chance. It's not bad, considering how many battles I'm about to face. It's not bad at all. Uh, Smithal Helm. I shall get that for Giga. Uh, 
Also, I want to be increasing my defense stat rather than deafness and stuff because there are things that will increase your deafness, but if I don't pay attention, then I'll get those and sacrifice defense. Anyway, mirror armor. Uh, I'm gonna get two of those. As you can see, my gold is just disappearing. Like, I've just lost 100k right off the bat. But it's okay because this is the most expensive stuff. Like, there are cheaper things like uh, sweatbands and braces and stuff at the end. Like gauntlets, battler's braces. Um, I'm not too bothered about deafness, honestly, so. I'll just get the braces and I'll get three of those. Because Darren already has them, apparently. Uh, Shuckle. Snappy. And go. There we go. I think the last page. Where was I? I was here, wasn't I? This is the last page. Um, a sea breeze skirt. I'll get that for Shuffle. Yes. Uh, I guess my magical might goes down, but honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really use spells and stuff on her, so it doesn't matter. Shifu shoes. Okay, I will get some for Snappy. And as you can see, my gold has decreased massively, but my stats have gone up pretty well, so... Yeah, I'm not looking for deafness as I said. Wait, what are the... Oh. They're better, okay. I guess I overlooked the light gauntlets for Giga. Okay, you can't really... Okay, you can't equip um, light gauntlets and everyone, but they are better for Giga, so... That's something that I overlooked, even if it's only one defense. It's a defense I would very much like, so I'll take it. Um. Oh, steely sweatband. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And I'll give that to Snappy. Some of you might be cringing at me massively, thinking, Oh my goodness, that's so much gold, and you can just alchemize stuff. I could alchemize stuff, but I'm lazy, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know this bothers you, and some of you leave alchemy requests, but... Um, especially if I don't have the stuff, that's stuff that I'm not willing to go out and get right now, so... Yeah, but I do appreciate all the suggestions massively, and I do read all of them, and I think, wow, that's a cool idea. And then it's just something that I never get around to, very much like side quests, it's the exact same thing, and... Um, I get what you're saying and stuff, it's really nice, and I appreciate it all the same, even if I am lazy about it, so... Now that I've got all this, I can zoom back to all trades, I think that's all I have to do here. And by here I mean, you know, in the normal world. I've already eaten the fig, I think. Yeah, yeah, I ate the fig before I came and did Soul Quest Quest, so... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's not run into any bad boons while we're here, because that would be very tedious. Anyway, Starflight Express, let's go. be heading to the Womb of the Almighty. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I, I have this horrible feeling that I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. What the...
Well done exactly he's in the eyes, is it? All the guts. I've got a bad feeling about this. This corpus character needs a serious talking with about his taste in evil fortress. Is Yeah, maybe. Anyway, the realm of the mighty is pretty eerie, as you can see. Uh oh, oh, hello. Exploring pays off. Ah, uh, ye old red chests. Oh, hello. These are genie sanguinis, I believe. Some genie sanguinis. I'm so used to fighting, like, pint-sized enemies that I can one-shot that I'm now not used to actual proper enemies. And what does this do? Uh, what? Uh, that is very strange. That's very strange. And in no way advantageous. These enemies are not necessarily intelligent. But they are funny in their tactics sometimes, I guess. But anyway, we have to go through this door because the one to the right is locked from the outside. In fact, I'm just going to show you just so that you have the satisfaction of seeing that it's locked. But uh, it's locked from the inside, my apologies. But we'll come back to that door soon enough. I can't remember which way you have to go, actually, but I, I feel like, you know, I'm just going to go right. Because um, I feel like there's something down here, but I'm not sure what. Possibly a blue chest? This. Oh, a red chest, you see. And mini medals galore. Also... These are red dragons, but what I've noticed is that they are not aggressive. As in, they don't chase after you. They just sort of sit there and wait to be harmed. And I'm not sure what these... I can't remember what they're called. They're not called Cyclopses. I think they're called Gigantes. Uh, nothing up there. Oh, hello. But you, as you can see, they take up a big portion of the path. And... Uh, these are dragons, so... Um, as they say, you can use Dragon Slash, but from what I've noticed, they don't seem to do that much more damage. Um, like 141, I can't remember how much Shuckle normally does, but 117, I guess that's more? Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, I'd say their most intimidating or their worst attack is that Inferno fire or whatever it is. Inferno, that's what it's called. Um, actually, you know, I'm just going to Falcon Slash it because I can't remember how tanky it is. Oh, no, no, I'm just going to Dragon Slash. I feel like Dragon Slash will do more if not the same as Falcon Slash. And it costs no more mana than... Uh, than it, and it costs no mana, sorry. multi -heal. I can't remember how much multi -heal does. I feel like it's around 100 and something. Um, like healing, or 107 health points that it heals for, 100 something even, not 107. Did I say 107? Oh my god, okay. I'm sorry, please ignore me. Anyway, as you can see, they give you decent experience. I think that was 1500 or something that they gave you. Uh, and I'm just going to go to the very bottom here. Well, actually, was there anything in the middle one? I can't remember. No, nothing at all. Nada. I'll go to the top one quickly as well, just because I might as well explore everywhere. Because I don't remember this entirely, I just remember that in order to make significant progress, you go to the bottom one. But there is a red chest up here. What I noticed is there are copious amounts of red chests. And as you can see, there's mirror armor here. So I I remember there was mirror armor there. But I bought one anyway, because why not? Why not just spend the extra 22k? I never really sold stuff in this game. So I don't know how much stuff sells for, but I can imagine it's significantly less. I mean, that would make sense. That's normally how selling stuff works. It sells for nothing. And it sells, um, like, you have to buy it for a lot more than what it, what you can sell it for. Which is depressing, but you know, it's okay. That's just how the market world works. 
Uh, oh, that's Red Chest up here as well. See, this is what I was saying about Red Chest. Like, this dungeon in particular really rewards you for splurging out on Red Chests. Um, oh, hello. What is this? Pure slimes and a charmer. I don't think I've run into any charms yet either, so... Um, I think the kill slimes are two hits and the charmers maybe three. By three I mean three hits including Gigo. So potentially a turn. I don't think they're two hit enemies but I could be wrong. Resolve CP, give two more. Yeah, they have pretty decent defense. I can't remember if Giga attacked the Charmer or the Slime. Although, no, Giga attacked the Slime, didn't he? I'm not sure. Oh, what I will do while I'm here is I will stand right next to the stairs so I can run up them, but also use my seeds, because I've had them for so long now that I might as well just use them, so. Okay, let me just go to page one of one. Seed of Deafness. Hmm. I'm gonna use these on. I think deafness is the chance that you crit, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna give it to the person that has the most because she'll be able to use it the most, not Shukla. Increases by two. I'm not sure how much of an impact these seeds have, but considering she had 212 and she's only gained an extra six, I imagine it's not that big of a deal. Um. But Giga. I'll give Giga the extra strength. What I'm just going to do is buff the strongest person in that skill. I just feel like that's the most useful thing to do. Uh, okay. Uh, holy water. I think that's like weaker monsters away. Okay, I don't need to use that. Uh, seed of skill. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to use these on... Um, I don't know who's good to use these on. There's no point using it on Darren because there's no skills I'm going to use on him. I'm going to put these onto Giga as well. Although, honestly, I, I can't really remember who is worth giving skill points to. I know that Shuckle's not close to leveling anything up in acquisitiveness, but I can't remember Snappy and Giga. Anyway, Seed of Magic. MP. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I could use some with some more MP. Just because of Falcon Slash. Darren does not need any more than he already has. And well, 47. Okay, that's decent. And Chuckler's got a fair amount as well, so. I'll give Giga some more. Agility. I feel like Stabby has the most agility. 247. Yeah, see Giga's Giga's agility is actually Garbo. Actually, I'm gonna give this one to Darren because um, the sooner he can heal, the better. And I'm not sure how much of an effect this is gonna have, giving him extra agility. But um, I don't feel like Snappy and Chuckle need it, and giving Giga a bit of extra agility is not gonna help him because his agility is that low. Uh, magical Might. Well, I mean, it's an obvious choice, isn't it? <laughs> no one is magical on this team apart from Darren, so. Uh, no seeds here. Seed of Therapeusis. Well, I'm just gonna give it to Darren again. Uh, seed of Defense. Uh, I'm gonna give this one to Darren because I feel like he could use the extra boost. That's good. And that's everything used up. I think. I don't see any more seeds. I'm gonna have more fast look. No, that's it. So, we're all good for seeds. We've got some extra, extra stuff. Now let's go. And let's head on to this bit. Up some stairs. And there's the- oh wait, yeah, I have to go up. I have to go up from here. And down here- oh, that's a red dragon. Don't want to run into that today. 
Actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut the path here, simply because of how long the episode's getting. There's no real decent stopping points because this dungeon or this area is a big area, so what I'm going to do is stop recording and I will resume in just a moment. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.